you guys, are you an owner of a Mitsubishi mini split system? And you have one of these remote controls and you don't know how to use it. And you're like, what does this do? What does that do? What does this do? There's all these different little buttons. I'm going to show you what all of them do coming up. All right. There are many different buttons, different modes. We're going to go through them nice and quick. Um, show you how to do it. Make it easy. Make it fun. Get the most out of your Mitsubishi mini split for AC and for heating. Okay. First, we're going to hit the on button here. All right. And you can see in the top, right, top left corner there, we've got the, the symbol for the uh, snowflake. So the snowflake is for cooling mode. You want to cool the house? Snowflake, all right? Next mode is a raindrop. A raindrop is just for a dehumidifying. So it gets the air, the moisture out of the air. Nice, comfortable. Some people like that, you know? Um, you know, Florida, I'm sure it's really good. You know, you get those humid days, but you want to have the, uh, you don't want to run the air conditioner. Perfect. Heating mode. And you see there, get the little picture of the sun. Um, heating mode is for the winter use, you know. Um, it works great. These things put off a lot of heat. Fan mode. And fan mode just circulates the air in the room. That's all, that's all it does. All right, let's look at this button here, Econo Cool. Look at that right there. What the heck does Econo Cool do? Econo Cool basically redirects the airflow to the occupants of the room. So you feel the cool air on you as opposed to just cooling the room, it'll cool you. So it's a smaller area to, to cool because it's just cooling you. It's I'm just cooling the room at the same time too, but as you feel that air, it allows you to run it at a higher, at a warmer temperature, saving energy. All right, powerful mode. What happens with powerful mode, it turns the fan all the way up and redirects the air down. So if you're, I assume it, it thinks you're, um, you know, at the lower portion of the room, if it's up high, so it's trying to blow the air on you. Um, that's what powerful mode does. Um, Smart set. Smart set is, uh, let's say you uh, you uh, leave a room unoccupied, you can hit the smart set button, it'll heat up to 50, 50 degrees. This is perfect for people who uh, leave their house for the uh, for the winter and just want to have it at the, you know, they want the pipes to freeze, they can set it at 50 degrees. They get back to their house, they hit that smart set button again, it goes up to whatever temperature they set it at, whether it be 72 or 70, whatever. It'll jump right to that number automatically. So watch this. We hit uh, smart set. Uh, if we were in summer mode, I mean uh, we're heating mode, and smart set would go to 50 degrees. Did you see right there? Let me go through that real quick. Well, 78. That's the temperature it's set for heat. Even though that's not what it's. This, this is the default for the uh, for this remote control. And 50 degrees. Simple as that. Um, what's next? Natural flow. Natural flow, what does that do? Let's go back to cooling mode because that's for cooling. Natural flow. As you can see there, natural flow um, is supposed to um, replicate a, a soft breeze out, outdoors. And how it does that is, as you can see here with the veins, it's, a, uh, it's allowing the air to go Fans are going like that, pushing the air up and down. Nice natural breeze. You know, see how it works. I haven't tried it out yet, but that's what it says it's supposed to do. Uh, here we have the fan speed button. Right there, we get in nice and close. Can we see? Is a picture of an ear. And that's silent mode. It runs the fan really, really slow. And you see one dot is low speed, medium, medium high, and full speed. All right. Then we've got the uh, the little symbol next to the fan is automatic, and that uses the computer to uh, balance the fan with the amount of heat or cooling uh, that the that the outdoor units are, are producing. So it's supposed to be the most efficient way to run the systems is on that mode there. Um, what else do we have here? We have your 
direct indirect. And what does direct indirect do? As you can see here, see it that right there. That's a person there. Right now it's in indirect mode. It's keeping the air off of you. Direct mode blows the air directly on you. Um, direct mode, if you're hot or cold and you wanted to, you know, you want to get cold, you put on direct mode, it'll, it'll use the IC sensor to follow you and to cool you and or heat you. Um, it works really good. It, 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 can, it can tell where you're at, where you're at in the room. It uses uh, infrared technology and um, it not only senses where you are, but it can sense, it senses the heat throughout the room too. Um, the temperature is not in this. There's no, there's no sensor for the thermostat. The thermostat is built into the actual unit on the wall. Okay. Some people don't know that. You know it now. Um, next, what do we have? We have, um, then you can change the veins, uh, left and right. Um, see, you can, they're automatic mode are those, those little symbols there. Um, so you can change all these different, that's swing mode. And you can control them left and right. And there's also the wide vein here. You can see at the top, left, center, center right, right, far right, and uh, swinging left and right. And of course we have, you know, your timer buttons, and then we can set time, we can program the, the unit also, but we won't get into that this time, but that'll be another video altogether. All right, guys, I hope you got a lot out of this video here. This is, uh, this is kind of one of those, uh, not really action packed, but you know, it, it's got a lot of information. A lot of people don't know what these systems do and how they work and stuff like that. So now you know. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Like, big thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. I love you. Bye bye.